and go spend the summer with your grandma over on the Navajo Reyes. You said I could go to Fleetwood Mac. Devil music. It's a coming of age story set on the Navajo Reservation. Where are you going? This young kid plucked from the urban life in San Diego, California, and spends one of his most memorable summers on the res. I didn't grow up on the reservation like my parents did. My brother and I grew up in San Diego. My life was pretty MTV. It was, you know, movies, VHS. It was pop culture. That's a lesbian. A woman with hairy underarms. You don't have any handy arms. Mostly you see stories about Native Americans that are, you know, very kind of westernized, teepees, horses. I wanted to kind of like pluck that, you know, those those stereotypes and tropes into the story of this young boy and, you know, his fascination with pop culture, because it is my story. Here, because your parents wanted you to become a man, doesn't look like that's gonna happen. My film's executive produced by Taika Waititi, and he told me to just throw away your idea of who these characters are you know, letting go and letting these kids be. And that's kind of in the documentary world, my experience, you know, it's like you, you follow these subjects and then once you follow them, you kind of, they guide you. I wasn't interested in these kids hitting their marks or, you know, maybe they didn't get a line perfect. It was really kind of getting this kind of nuance and, and, and authenticity. You're beautiful. With my documentaries and then working in my first narrative feature the landscape on the navajo reservation it's you know a huge character in the film we made the corral the hogan um this world that we created everyone said it felt like their grandmother's house we've got things to do are you coming or not the story of being native is kind of universal our connection to family and land and that is captured on film and it just it, it means so much watching it again mm -hmm.